Aspire Media have dropped information on the second patch for Tomb Raider 1, 2, 3 Remastered. Today, we're going to go through all of those patch notes, and these notes contain fixes across all three of the games. Some are game specific, and some are across all the titles. We're going to start with the updates across all games. Firstly, the Epic Games Store build now launches in full screen mode on initial launch rather than windowed mode. Lara's character now disappears when the camera gets too close instead of clipping through her head. An issue has been fixed where Steam achievements would sometimes have the wrong descriptions. Action indicator will not display if Lara is unable to interact with an object. Three achievements now unlock when completing the proper conditions. They are Ready to Raid, Exaggerated Threat and Gifts of Wonderland. The default photo mode pose where Lara is not holding a weapon is now consistent between the standard definition and high definition modes. There has been improved translation in various languages. Dynamic lighting now corresponds more accurately to the original games. A special outfit for Nightmare in Vegas has been added. A bloody T-Rex Lara outfit is now available in photo mode. There are new photo mode poses. Lara's hair no longer expands or contracts in high definition mode. Aspire have addressed graphical issues on many doors where the textures would flash rapidly. And there's also been improved rain, fire and smoke effects. Game specific improvements now, starting with Tomb Raider 1. Windows in Natla's Mines are now properly transparent. The red mist effect has been toned down in the cutscene where Natla is placing the ski on in the Atlantis level. Lara can now destroy the ski on with all weapons. There has been an update to the lighting in the Thor room of St. Francis Folly. Updated the missing textures in the Lost Valley. The flare control option is no longer greyed out in Tomb Raider 1. And there's been an updated skybox for Lara's home. Moving on to Tomb Raider 2, there has been updated spiderweb textures in high definition mode. Lara now properly grabs ledges when running off and holding the grab buttons. Resolved missing muzzle flashes in cutscenes. Resolved the camera twitching when Lara approaches the ledge in living quarters. Updated the incorrect textures on the walls in the deck. Resolved a small gap between some textures in the Great Wall. The lights in high definition mode in the wreck of the Maria Doria now flicker correctly. Also in the Maria Doria, the wall textures now match in standard definition and high definition modes. Small gaps between some textures in Venice have also been resolved. Gondolas are now breakable regardless of the positioning of the other boat. The proper chimney textures are now present in the high definition mode of Bartoli's hideout. There's been a graphical overhaul of all Wreck of Maria Doria levels. The Opera Dome is now visible from the outside in the level Opera House. Updated skyboxes for Lara's home, Tibetan foothills and the Barkhang Monastery. Missing waterfall added to the Temple of Xi'an. And music tracks no longer repeat. Tomb Raider 3 has had the biggest list of improvements, including Updated quicksand to have visual effects in high definition mode. Foliage textures updated to be more transparent. When Lara collects her items back in high security compound, all the items now appear in the preview display when you pick them up. 3D models of meteorite artifacts were not transparent in high definition mode. Updated hard to spot platforms in Lost City of Tinos in high definition mode. Updated the missing textures in the Lost City of Tinos. Black water texture is no longer visible in the Lost City of Tinos and Madabu Gorge. Updated lighting in the caves in Madabu Gorge. It's now more clear that some walls are climbable in Madabu Gorge in high definition mode. RX Tech Mines has had some significant updates. 
This includes updated lighting, resolving missing textures, the crevice is clearly visible in the ice wall in high definition mode, and the arrow sign now turns off when using the railroad switcher. In terms of the Nevada desert, environments from other rooms are no longer visible in certain sections, as well as a resolution to several gaps in textures. Lara no longer dies when jumping near a wall of spikes in Willard's lair. Environments from other rooms are no longer visible in sections of Shakespeare Cliff. Willard is now holding the elevator remote in the cutscene after completing Antarctica. Resolved missing textures in Area 51. Character models no longer disappear during the cutscene in Aldwych. The radar texture in High Security Compound does not disappear anymore when viewed from certain angles. The vent hole in Hut Roof is now transparent in Coastal Village. Sparkling Mutagen in Sleeping with the Fishes now looks brighter in High Definition Mode. Ludsgay and Aldwych have had a lighting overhaul. The home chandeliers updated to better match the original model. Graphical overhaul of the lost artifact levels. Added a skybox for Lud's Gate. And finally, updated the skyboxes for Highland Fling, Willard's Lair and It's a Madhouse. So quite a significant update there. There will be changes between title update one and title update number two that haven't been covered in the patch notes. And like last time, I will upload a comparison video as and when. But what do you think of this update? It was one that was never announced that was in the works, but there are quite a lot of things there across all versions of the game. So let's have a talk about them in the comments below. Until then though, check out our other Tomb Raider videos on the channel. And of course, if there is any more news, I will bring it to you as soon as I can.